Hi folks, it's been a while. Well, I say a while, it's been about four weeks since my last video. So much has happened since then, so much. Um, mainly to do with our youngest daughter. So we have some results from the blood tests and other things that we've had done with her. So that's pretty good. So I'll chat about that later. Anyway, into camp. I think Dave is already at our camp spot, which is the same spot we had last time. So I'm gonna walk in and find him. Have I just passed it? <laughs> so like an idiot, I thought I'd actually gone past um, the turning to where we're off, but no, I'm on the right track. Oop. It's very wet underfoot from all the rain we've been having recently. It's around about 21, 22 degrees. So at the moment, it is midge-tastic. Loads of little bitey creatures. So hopefully Dave has a bit of a smoky fire on the go. It'll be time to whack on some insect repellent when we get in. You stay there, Mr. Cow, and we'll all be good. Oh, well, yeah, everything's certainly a lot more overgrown than last time I was here. Right, chat later, guys. Yeah, so an update on my youngest. So we had um, Catherine and two of my kids flew over to London. Must have been about three weeks ago or so. And got blood tests and stuff done. And we've just been waiting on the results. So we got the results then about a week or two ago. Um, and then we had the follow-up appointment with a doctor yesterday. And it turns out that she has celiac disease and she also has an, absorb uh, an absorption issue with vitamin D. So a vitamin D count is really, really low um, and she scores really, really highly for celiac disease. And this is really interesting because she has no symptoms of um, celiac disease whatsoever, no physical symptoms, I should say. Um, same as she has no physical symptoms with vitamin D deficiency. And I never knew this um, until we actually started digging into this then when we got the results back in. But you can actually have a uh, neuro psychiatric so when she eats gluten she actually has a psychiatric reaction to it and we've had this for must be six years now where tics and OCD behaviors and absence seizures she's been having all this all along and we didn't know what was going on the the treatment protocol for us is a case of she goes gluten free um, and she was also on a daily prescription or a daily medication of vitamin uh, D supplements. So you can imagine the relief that Catherine and I have had um, and getting a bit of closure and a bit of understanding of what's going on. The sense of relief we had yesterday was, uh, yeah, it was massive. It's the first time in a couple of years whereby we actually go, okay, we know where we're going with this. So they're the two things that we do know. Now, we also have been told that there may be other triggers that will flare up as we get into the winter months um, and as the school resumes uh, and she's back in a, a classroom with other kids with other ailments. So there may be other triggers there that we're not aware of. Um, but we have to, we'll, we'll deal with that as, it, as we come to it. So um, in other news, uh, I've had Father's Day and this is pretty cool. I've got this. Where's the camera? There we go. Jack Daniels. So we hip flask. So tonight I'm going to be having a little bit of Jack Daniels. Medicinal. <laughs> Obviously. So I got that for Father's Day off my kids. So thank you very much. Oh. 
just a quick hello to um, Outdoor Ali. Just been on his channel, on his live stream this evening. So, hello mate. There's Dave. Hello. Was it Outdoor Wild Camper, isn't it? Outdoor Wild Camper. Outdoor Wild Camper. So, Ali, hello mate. Folks, it is about 20 past 10, half past 10 or so now. The sun's just beginning to set behind us. It's getting a wee bit dark, so this is probably going to be my last bit of video now for the night. So, uh, and it's getting cold. And it's getting cold. So, going to head to bed in a little bit. So, see you guys in the morning. Well, folks, it's uh, 25 past 7, so... I think it's time to get up. Where I'm at now is the location of an old fort. Just like, I don't know if you can make out the, uh, the drop in front of me, but I mean, that is just savagely steep. And it just goes on and on and on and on and on. Um, to my left, over that way there, is an old castle. So this fort I'm at now would have stood as an observation post for the castle, um, so just over to my left hand side right now. That was a good find, I'm impressed with that. That's flipping, uh, yeah, good stuff, I like that. Bit of a trek to get here like but hey ho done pretty pretty awesome all right folks just taking a bit of a walk away from camp it's about half eight dave's still asleep so i've had a coffee i just thought i'd come up here just have a chat like last night it's probably the most comfortable night sleep i've had while camping um probably been a very very long time I think it's just the relief of just finding out what's happening with our youngest daughter um, and actually came out while camping last night not to get away from the, the frustration what happens at home but just to actually relax it was very very different different um, feeling completely so yeah I feel really really chilled um, it is, it's absolutely awesome, so delighted with this. Uh, last night <laughs> wasn't the, the quietest of nights, it was really, really windy. Um, had some really strong gusts last night, like properly strong, nearly ripping the tarp up. So we had to close the tarps down last night, um, just make them a little bit less uh, likely to catch the wind. But sleep in the hammock and the wind was coming in and the hammock was just rocking from side to side just with the wind it was, flipping, uh, it was funny but awesome uh, but no, I had a really good night's sleep they're really really comfortable um, apart from those gusts of wind um, bought an eye mask so I have an eye mask uh, to keep the light out just because it gets light so early out here so, so I didn't wake up until seven I only woke up at seven just because I had to go for a pee um, then I was able to get back in the scene bag and get another 20 minutes, so just relaxing. But it's just, I uh, can't even convey just how much more relaxed this feels. Being out here now, just feeling the sun on my face, early morning, half eight, and just feeling that, just the those feelings of worry just coming down and just relaxing um, so it is awesome absolutely awesome uh, just yeah I, I am just I'm actually quite happy here this is pretty good that's not pretty good it's actually fantastic yeah it is fantastic there's the moon up in the sky this is actually beautiful out here just, there's so many butterflies and moths like spiders webs it's just so much 
There's just so much life here. Absolutely awesome. Love it. What feels different today being out here or waking up this morning is just being a lot more connected with nature. Just actually noticing a lot more. So like noticing the butterflies, noticing spiders, noticing the silver birch tree and things that you should notice, but you're so caught up in your own head, you just walk past them. You don't even see them, but they're there. But that's what I feel today. I feel a lot calmer, a lot more connected to my environment and a lot more aware. So this is growing off this silver um, birch tree. It looks like it's a, just a, I have no idea what it is. So if any of you bushcrafty type folks out there know what it is, um, we'll be very, very keen to hear. Hey right, folks, I'm gonna head back here now, get some uh, breakfast on the go, sausages and uh, mushrooms and hopefully some tomatoes, if there's any left. All right, <laughs> chat in a bit. So underneath that tarp there is a Dave somewhere who's just woken up after nine o'clock. So somebody's had a good night's sleep. I'm sure he will surface soon. Yeah. yeah. So there we have mushrooms, tomatoes, sausage, and some toasted bread for breakfast. <coughs> Folks, I'm gonna finish the video here. Um, it has been an awesome camp. It's been actually been brilliant. It's been very, very chilled, uh, very relaxing. Uh, yeah, it's just been, yeah, you know what I've been chatting about earlier anyway. It is just great. So I'm just gonna finish it here. Thanks for watching. Um, if you watched all the way through, it's much appreciated. Yeah much appreciated even um but what a f awesome setting for some world camping i mean it is just glorious right